Hello everyone, I'm Forum BX257, your friendly neighborhood 1980s G.I. Joe reviewer. And today I'll be taking a look at an 80s inspired license item, the currently released Deluxe Mega Kit by Running Press, the Cobra Hiss Tank with lights and sounds. Now currently this is only available through Amazon, but I don't believe it's an Amazon exclusive. Running Press does make a few of these small block sets available through uh, major bookstore chains, so it might actually show up there. Currently, this is available on Amazon for $13.95 Canadian, or $12.95 US, or £7.99 in the UK. Is it worth it? Well, I'm going to have to open it up, assemble it, and find out. Okay, so we're going to open this up now. I just realized the, um, the logo and the text is actually uh, coated. And the rest of the box is, is not. It's kind of a it's kind of a nice detail there. It's like that on all sides too. Anyway, I already cut the bottom open, so let's rip this thing open. Ah, uh, yeah. See, this is this is a booklet which actually comes with this. Uh, set and I think this is actually the reason why this is available in bookstores well, available on Amazon in general because they can uh, sort of get away with this being a a book with an added bonus with this thing that's a nice little book it's very uh, it's very good quality too anyway uh oh looks like we have we have instructions and a sticker sheet which um I'm sure a lot, of, a lot of people are going to be cringing at, but uh, personally, I, I do like the stickers myself. Oh, and here's the stickers themselves. It seems to reproduce almost everything that the original His Tank um, had, too. It just uh, looks like a 1 one fiftieth scale, maybe? I'm hoping. Anyway, this is the real thing here. If I can just get the tape off. Oh, that's just basically a bag. Okay. Oh. Uh, now, yeah, I think this is a very good size. Oh, has a tab underneath here. Now, it looks like it takes LR41 button cell batteries. And we're done. While having scale stickers that are very accurate to the original His Tank is great. I do have to warn you about two things. First is the uh, sticker sheet itself. The backer is very heavily cut, so you do have to make sure that you're not pulling the backer off along with the sticker. The other thing is, is that you absolutely will need tweezers to get some of these stickers in here because they're just not possible for adult fingers. Matter of fact, I don't think they're even possible for kid fingers to put some of these stickers in there. Uh, you can use tweezers or I use the Vangelis method of a toothpick to put it, put it in there. This mini Hiss Tank has all the same features as the original 1983 Hiss Tank has and a little bit more, including the uh, fake dumbbell wheels underneath the non-moving treads so it can roll. Interestingly enough it does have a tow hook here. Would have thought that they wouldn't have bothered but it's there and I'm going to use it in just a moment. The turret rotates and the guns elevate. The original would have ratcheted but uh, that's just fine. And one interesting detail that I was really surprised that they added into this is the fact that the canopy opens. It totally opens and you can totally see um, uh, detail inside and there's certainly enough room for a figure. 
If you had a figure that small, which could bend its legs. But of course, this thing does one thing that the original His Tank doesn't do, and that is lights and sounds. That's mostly from the cannons. Of course, we have a big, rather obvious red button here. I'm just going to push that, and... That was just me holding it down for a little bit. It doesn't change anything if you press it more than once, obviously. And here's a size comparison of the Mini Tank to the 1983 original. Mine is a mail away with the white stickers rather than just the red from the original retail release. But you can see just how this thing scales up. It's really tiny. The His Tank is about three and a half inches long by about two and a quarter inches high. So it's actually a fairly good size. It's Here's a Hot Wheels car, for instance, and quite frankly, I think Hot Wheels are, what, 1 to 64 scale? So, yeah, I do think this is closer to 1 50th scale, so it is a tiny bit bigger. But the question that I wanted to have answered is, is the Mini Tank compatible with the 1983 die cast line of G.I. Joe vehicles and in my opinion yes yes it is and that's one of the reasons why I want to use the tow hook because now I have something to tow Now, before today, it was really hard for me to sympathize with G.I. Joe collectors who finally got that version of a character or a character that Hasbro never bothered to make back in the day and finally made it recently. But now I understand. I totally understand. This is something that the 1983 diecast Aviva line was sorely missing. It was sorely missing bad guy vehicles. And even though the these things are die cast metal and the his tank is pure plastic. It really goes very well with this. And I'm hoping that Running Press makes more of these. Not just, you know, more his tank because, I mean, obviously they could just mold one in red and call it the Crimson Attack Tank. But I'm really hoping that they make a few more that were missing from the line. Like the Dragonfly, for instance, or even the Wolverine. I thought that this was just a reprint of the file cards, maybe even abridged, but it's actually not. It's actually rewritten. Uh, some of this stuff is, of course, taken from the file cards, but it's written in such a way that it's actually a bit more conversational. It's certainly very easy to read this, rather than this sort of uh, dry, point for me type of a way that the file cards were. As a matter of fact, if you take a look at uh, Hawk's file card, You'll notice that it mentions Operation Lady Doomsday and a few other things. Those were Marvel Comics uh, storylines. So whoever wrote this, um, Andrew Fargo, he actually pulls a lot of information from a couple of different sources to make these paragraphs. That's actually rather cool. The artwork, however, is from the 25th anniversary uh, version, so you will see this uh, modified from the 80s artwork, but it's still kind of cool. One of the strangest things is, is of course, the, uh, the blue version of Firefly. Don't know why they chose that. The back of the box reads, G.I. Joe is the codename for America's daring, highly trained special missions force. Its purpose, to defend human freedom against COBRA, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. This kit includes a miniature replica of the fearsome Cobra Hiss Tank and a 56-page booklet featuring in-depth profiles on members of the G.I. Joe team and the forces of Cobra. Despite being labeled as a model kit, the only assembly required is to put on the stickers, which I'll have to admit is a little bit difficult. 
However, once it's all finished, it's perfect for an adult collector or even ages 7 and up, which is what this thing is rated for. I will have to say though that I am extremely impressed by the inclusion of the electronics, but not at the expense of the uh, swiveling or elevating cannons. That's an excellent engineering design. Well, that's all the time I have right now. Please check out my Facebook page for more information and behind the scenes photos for these reviews. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for next time to see another 1980s G.I. Joe tour review. See you then.